So here are all of my supplies that I'm going to be using for our collage. The first thing that you want to do is you want to collect materials, paper, different magazines that you can use to rip up and create your picture that you want to do. The other supplies that you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of paper or backing that you want to glue the supplies onto, a pencil or something to sketch out your picture. If you want to use scissors, you can. I'm probably just going to be ripping up my paper and then either liquid glue or glue sticks. The first thing that I did was to sketch out a loose sketch of what I wanna do for my collage. I'm gonna do some waves that are crashing, so I'm gonna have some darker blues to lighter blues, and then I'm gonna put some sand color up here. So I sketched that out really lightly on my paper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rip up my magazine pictures and divide them into color families that I know that I want to put onto my backing. So now that I have all of my magazines ripped up and put into color categories, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to place them onto my backing paper and figure out where I want everything to be. So I'm gonna start by going dark to light and placing my little pieces of paper down and figuring out where I wanna glue them. So now that it looks like a complete and utter mess, now is when we're going to start to glue things down. First, I'm gonna organize my colors back together and then I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down. And I'm gonna start by gluing all the pieces down that I need and then work my way down from there. If anything gets moved around, that is okay. Um, just know that as soon as you glue something down, that's where it's gonna stay. This is where you can choose to either do the liquid Elmer glue or a glue stick. For me, I'm probably gonna use a combination of the both. So everything now is glued down to my paper. It is a little rough, so there are definitely some edges that I wanna go back and I want to re-glue, but gluing everything down definitely takes the longest time in this project. So you wanna dedicate a good amount of time to making sure all of your pieces are glued down and they're not going to fall off when you pick it up and move it around. What I can also do is I can take my scissors and anything that is hanging over the edges, I can trim that down to make it look a little bit nicer. Now this is not gonna be my finished product. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna experiment a little bit. And this is where you can take your project to another level if you want to. I'm gonna try maybe drawing on top of part of my collage and painting on top of part of my collage. I don't wanna see a lot of the paper showing through, so I might even go back, rip up a little bit more and glue down some other pieces. I will let you know though, it makes your fingers super sticky when you do this project. So make sure that you don't go around touching things after you're done. You wanna really wash your hands. I ended up using iridescent paint on top of the water of my collage and I really liked how it turned out. But you could experiment with drawing materials, markers, even nail polish on top of your collage. Try anything out that you think would look really interesting. Don't be afraid to push the envelope and try new things with this project. I can't wait to see what you guys do.